current volatile situation in Rakhai makes the local ethnic populace feel unsecured and terrified because of the Bengali militancy problem. <laughs> After going to Mondo during an on-site investigation and meeting and talking with witnesses, ethnic local people who have actually experienced the tragic incidents are still alive. First hand information was collected. The witnesses confirmed the atrocities such as mass murder, rape, robbing and looting, burning down of homes were cruelly perpetrated by the Bengali Muslims. At a village called Yaboja, there live Hindus who were of a different faith from other Bengali Muslims. On August 25, 2017, darkness fell upon Yaboja village. Around 8 a.m. of that morning, an Asa leader who live in Kamonsait village called Noru Lok and Rafi, together with about 800 terrorists, arrive at Yawaja village carrying small arms, sticks and swords. The terrorists made all villagers to came out and binding their hands from behind. Every valuable item such as phones, gold, money and other valuables were looted. They were forced about 100 Hindus to a place near Bodala village. After that, all men, women and children with their bounded hands were herded to two large pits that were already dark and separate it into groups and make them to fall in line. Asa terrorists then took the eight Hindu women with the children to Bodala village and forced the Hindu women into Islam. On August the 27th, terrorists led by Rafi forced the Hindu women together with the children to cut up along refugee camp inside Bangladesh, which is 20 miles away. While they were at Kutapalong camp, many international reporters and journalists arrived and took photos and videos of them. Hindu women were dressed in Naman Islamic dress and coerced to say that Hindus in Yawaja village were killed by the Tamador and that they all have to escape from being killed. Between September 27 and 2 October, they managed to separate into small groups and arrive back to Myanmar site safely. If not for the daring escape of these Hindu women and thus enabling them to tell the truth, the well-planned propaganda coup of the Bengali terrorists to make these Hindu women as living witnesses to put the blame of mass murder and rapes on Tamador will succeed. But now, it was a terrible blow to the propaganda machine. The aggressive behavior of Asa is not an act of a random one but many years of planning and sneaking into Myanmar territory. There were many organizations and persons behind these acts that supported and encouraged these extremists with everything so that they can commit these atrocities. Then, why the international organizations have deliberately ignored these hard facts? If there actually were a sense of humanitarian compassion and consideration, that must also be for the families of the victims.